Kevin, you are truly perfect for Brie. Whenever I see you two together, Brie just smiles a little bit bigger. She laughs a little bit longer. She is just truly happy. Brie and I met working alongside each other at the Canucks, and I knew we were going to be friends from day one. Turns out that sentiment was not returned, and I found out about a month ago that Brie thought I was a complete weirdo for asking her to hang out on the second day at work. <laughs> I'm sure glad I did, though, because I know I found a true friend for life, and I think that now we're on the same page when it comes to our friendship. <laughs> It warms my heart to see the support and love you provide to each other, and I wish you all the happiness in your next chapter together. I've known Kevin now for about 17 years. Kevin, Bree, and I worked at the Camp Auto Suspension Bridge one summer in 2010. Kevin and I were standing there, and he pointed at this girl walking by. It seemed like time was just standing still for Kevin. He was smitten. That same look on his face can be seen on Kevin's face tonight. It was a look of burning desire, a flame that would never go out. That girl was Brie, by the way. <laughs> Since you met Brie, you've never been more confident, more comfortable, more relaxed and happy. And that to me is the most important thing. One of my first impressions of Kev we were sharing a table with just a random guy. He was enjoying his hot dog. When Kev arrived, he immediately extended his hand and introduced himself to that random guy at the table. <laughs> Bree and I couldn't stop laughing, and at that point on, I knew Bree was in the hands of a gentleman. I've known Kevin since the third grade, and I am proud to say we remain quite close throughout our diverse lives. A memorable moment from that distant life of ours was when our bold young friend decided to dye his hair green on one side and red on the other. There was a possibility that those dyes might mix and create a new color. But being the remarkable and surprising individual that he was, he decided to go with it and own that pink hair for weeks to come. It's an amazing feeling when you find the other half of your soul in another person, but enough about Kevin and I. Tonight is about the beloved bride and groom, and it makes me over the moon to know we did not lose a friend, but rather gained another instead. Hi everybody, I'm Andrew, I'm the father of the bride. Some of you are parents in the room, and so you know that this is a time that's extremely stressful and nerve-wracking, but also utterly wonderful. Brie uh, did well in school, she won awards, she captained sports teams, she went and worked hard to get her degree in business, and she's built a great career in HR. Through all of this, she developed into this beautiful, kind, thoughtful, good-hearted person. Everything that you could hope that your daughter would become. And now, my little girl has married Kevin, who by every measure is a fine young man. Uh, and Kevin has shown us that he is just as hardworking and ambitious and responsible and thoughtful and, yes, good-hearted as Bree is. Bree, my princess, and Kevin, her prince, we give you all of our love, all of our blessings, all of our wishes for a long, healthy, happy life together as man and wife. Thank you.